Hey y'all, good morning. I hope everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, if I look tired today, it's because I am, because there's a lot going on. I just got another request for help with Patriot Relocation Network, and I just want to read it to you, because this is pretty typical of what we're hearing, okay? Um, this person said, we are a family of three humans and two dogs. Mom and little boy, special needs, almost three. We live in Washington State. Dad is an army vet and private security contractor and travels for work. We are currently trying to escape the liberal cesspool that has become Washington State and at the same time move closer to where most of Dad's work is based, the Southeast. Originally, we were looking to rent but are definitely open to other prospects. Just want to be able to raise our son and <clears throat> others that come along in the most free environment possible don't want to have to tell them stories about what america used to be like i receive emails like this every day and i don't want to be one of the ones out there you know screaming bad news from the rooftops but the fact is America as we knew America is gone. It's over. And even if Trump manages to pull this out and I'm still optimistic, I'm still hopeful, despite the humongous odds stacked against him, um, even if he does manage to pull it out, the left is just gonna burn down the country. Like, there is no civility left. There is no decency between the two sides. There is no common ground. Um, it's all gone. And if Biden is cheated in, which it's looking more and more and more like he's going to be cheated in, the whole purpose of them trying to cheat Biden in is to push forward this great global reset. And I've shot a whole bunch of video over the last week, I mean a lot, talking about a lot of different things, talking about a lot of what's going on, talking about the real estate market, um, what it looks like if you're trying to get out of where you are to someplace with more like-minded people. And, you know, is that important and necessary? Only you can answer that. There are millions of people waking up every day realizing that we are at the precipice and it's never going to go back to the way it used to be. And I'm sorry to be one of the ones sharing that, but too much has happened and too much has changed and too much has not returned to quote unquote normal. And I'm gonna talk about that. Like I said, I've shot a bunch of video. Randy and I had some interesting things happen this weekend. Uh, talked to some folks. It was a little bit eye-opening. And uh, I've just got a lot going on. So I haven't had a chance to go through everything and edit and and I'm gonna try and work on that later this afternoon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you all know that I'm still here. I'm still working behind the scenes. Um, and it's, it's tough. It's tough to get those kind of emails and read those kind of stories over and over. It is extremely tough whenever it is veterans who have fought for this country and served this country with honor and valor and the nation is literally, literally being sold out from under them to the communists and the socialists and this new world order. It's, it's heartbreaking. I gotta look my husband in the eyes every morning. You know, he spent 20 years serving this country he went into the military at 17, wide-eyed and full of patriotism and with a great love for this country. And uh, it's not the same country it was.
So hang in there, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll have some more content up hopefully later today. And uh, I hope you all are doing okay. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We were going to do a Thanksgiving message and it just, it just got away from us. Um, but yeah, doesn't mean we're not thinking about y'all because we are every day, most of the day, to be honest. Um, so hang in there and uh, we'll talk to you soon.